I've been, uh, I've been thinking quite a lot about simple things that we can do that make us happy. And one of the things that, that sort of sprang to mind was the, the idea of, of Sunday driving. This year, many of us have enjoyed slowing down. I have enjoyed slowing down. If I'm gonna take the time to take myself to these extraordinary places, I want to spend the most amount of time enjoying them. This outfit is mostly greys. Uh, and black to match my mood if I don't get out into the countryside enough. And a subtle nod to the beauty of the ancient grey stone village of Sladburn, the geographic centre of our drive, bits of which are old, 10th century old. The trousers are made to measure Norton & Sons in a worsted wool from Yorkshire. Sweatshirt and socks are community clothing from Lancashire and Leicestershire respectively. The shoes are by Trickers, a derby from Northamptonshire. I really like the process of choosing an outfit and, and I'm very, very particular about putting outfits together. You know, I'm a nerd for the right colour of sock. I'm a, you know, the right cuff link with the right sock, the, the particular shade of a jacket with a particular trouser. And it's something I enjoyed doing a lot before, uh, before this year. I mean, I was constantly choosing outfits and getting dressed. And every day I would go through the process, but this year I've lived in the same, like the same stuff. I've worn the same five bits of clothing pretty much every day for about seven months. Seems like a sensible spot for an outfit change. Quite far away. Quite far away. Outfit number three is an all navy affair. Trousers from Norton and Sons, roll neck socks, and field jacket from Community Clothing. The fabric for the jacket is from a mill called British Millerain in Rochdale. Shoes are from Trickers. They're made using a leather from Germany that is tanned using olive leaves. It's also used by BMW, but not in this car because I had a sniff of the leather. It doesn't smell of olive. Lithe Fell Road snakes up to a great big stone which once housed the medieval Cross of Greet. It did mark the boundary between Yorkshire and Lancashire, neighbours not always on the best of terms. The cross is long gone, and so too is the boundary, gone down the hill a bit. It went there in about 1970. Boundaries and borders, it seems, have always been a British obsession. Pull my trousers up a bit. The Cross of Greet, Lancashire, here, and Yorkshire, here. A, a good friend of mine moved to the, to the Isle of uh, Lewis. And on Sundays in Lewis, it was frowned upon to even put your washing out. I quite like that idea. We've got to this relentless speed of life that I think is quite destructive to our, you know, simple things like our mental health. The idea of taking a day where you very deliberately slow everything down and do things in a considered and, and gentle way, I think is quite a nice idea. Grouse. The idea of driving slowly through the countryside seems to me a very positive thing. If I'm going to take the time to take myself to these extraordinary places, I want to spend the most amount of time enjoying them. So for me, being slow is, is, a, is a great thing. 